So what lessons can we learn from Hedwig Lindel's performance at her game with USA at the FIFA Women's World Cup 2019? Well, in this video, we're going to break down her whole performance, analyzing her strengths and weaknesses to help you become a better goalkeeper. She has made some crucial things that can be key to your success coming up. Hi there, Marcel Gully. Welcome to another video analyzing goalkeepers from FIFA Women's World Cup 2019 and to stay up to date with all the new videos that are coming your way make sure to hit that bell icon down below to get notified when they come out. In this video we're going to focus on Hedvig Lindell who is the Swedish goalkeeper, very experienced and before we dive in if you'll find a value out of this video make sure to hit that like button and let's go. Let's get straight to the first goal. She has closed the ball to the near post, leaving her off the position as she left the far post completely opened and there has been plenty of chances for clearance from the defenders. I think that quite a lot of the goalkeepers that I've seen during this World Cup are overprotective of the near post. Yes, of course you have to cover your near post but let's not forget about the far post because there's still a massive distance that divides you from the near post to the far post and like in this example sometimes you cannot count on your defenders. She has done some really brave 1v1 breakaways and during one of them she was positioned very well and I liked how big she made herself, making the goal a lot smaller for the striker and then when the ball bounced off her, she reacted very quickly, dived at the other striker's feet very bravely and claimed the ball. But if you'd like to know more about how to deal with 1v1 breakaways and what is the mindset for this specific action, just click the screen right here and I will put a link in the description below for a video explaining the whole process that you need to go through during 1v1 breakaway. And then there was a very silly mistake with passing. She has had a player running towards her and she kicked the ball to go for a throwing instead of passing it to one of her teammates who are waiting for the ball. And in situations like this, you have to stay calm. You have to trust yourself, you have to be confident and don't crack under the pressure. During the second goal for United States, Helvig Lindell has been positioned very well, but we can see her hands were dropped down, which has increased her distance she had to the ball and slowed her reactions. Also, her body weight went backwards, opening the front post a lot more. That's why you should always try to get your body weight forward and always have your hands in front of you in the ready position unless it's a 1v1 breakaway. There has been a number of crosses that she could have claimed the first time and by doing that she would keep the possession of the ball instead of giving it away to the opponent. First she punched a ball that was at her head's height and she could have easily catched that, keeping the possession that way. Another cross that have came, she should have catched the first time again. She's had her hands on a player's shoulders, risking a penalty, which is a very dangerous thing to do considering what's been happening throughout this tournament. There's been plenty of penalties given and with the new rules applying from now on, it's very hard for goalkeepers to cope with such pressure. She should have had her hands in front, like mentioned before, and follow the ball flight as it would go straight into her hands if she would. Thankfully, she has reacted fast and caught the ball just in time, although she should make sure her body is behind the ball. Overall, she is a very experienced goalkeeper. However, in the modern game, you really expect goalkeepers to be able to hold on to that ball and actually catch the balls that are going their way. 
And to help you claim more crosses in your next game, you can just click the screen right here for a full session that you can add to your training. Or for another video from Master Gully, just click the screen right here. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos just like this one, and I'll see you in the next one.